to talk a little bit about the beauty of a vocation to religious life, priestly life. It's about discovering that something is going on between me and God. There is this moment of grace. Grace, in a way, understood as an acronym, where it means God revealing and calling endlessly. And that's going on in the hearts and lives of each and every one of us, no matter how old or how young we are. But I think what is so beautiful, stunning about a religious vocation, a call to follow Christ as a religious, as a priest, and indeed as a Marist, is that there is this sense that develops that, yes, I could do this, or I could do that, I could follow my friends here and there, but hey, there is something going on between me and God, and I'm struggling to put words on it, but I feel I have to look for something more. That God isn't way up, up in the heavens, God isn't too far removed from any one of us. God has a dream for you and for me. That's why he's created us. That's why he sustains us. Part of the dream for God that emerges is our vocation in life. And because the call to be a religious, to be a priest, to be a Marist, um, is in a sense a little bit out of the norm, it can take a little bit of discernment for us to really grasp, hey, this is what's happening for me. The still small voice that won't be quietened and the desire that I have that as we, we have a sense of it being present in my life, to follow it. And I, I think it can be really valuable then to find someone that we can turn to as a companion in prayer and reflection to slowly discover, well, what is the meaning of this for me? To be surprised by that and to keep following it, to discover just how real God is in my life and the hopes, the plans, the utter confidence God has in me and being the Marist that he wants me to be, to being a religious and a priest called, fashioned by him, but being led ever more to a deeper personal relationship with a God who knows us true and, and through. Um, it's a fabulous vocation, um, but we need to be in these times, these secular times, to be open to that still small voice at work in my heart, in my life. Come to meet again